Good evening, and welcome to Indians Got Talent. We are your hosts, Annabeth Brown and, and Hunter Sudduth. Before, before, we, before we get started with our competition tonight, I want to go over a few housekeeping items. Then Sud will explain how the competition will work. If we, we ask that you respect the performers and don't rush the stage. If you enjoy one of the contestants, sing along and cheer for them. Tonight, we'll have two rounds of competition. During round one, each contestant will perform. For the contestant to advance to round two, at least three of the judges must hit their light. Next, each contestant who was chosen will perform in round two. Then, you, the audience, will pick the winner by scanning a QR code and casting your vote. Now, let's meet our judges for the evening. Judge one is Peyton Gaddis. Peyton Gaddis is a lyric soprano from Fulton. She graduated from Mississippi School for the Arts in 2015. Peyton attended the University of Southern Mississippi. And while there, she performed numerous operas with Mississippi Opera, such as the Mikado, Rigolato, and Carmen. She transferred to the University of Mississippi, where she earned the bachelor's degree in vocal performance in 2020. While studying music, Peyton has performed across the country, from Los Angeles to New York City. She has won numerous awards and continues to compete both nationally and internationally. She teaches private voice and piano in Fulton. Peyton, who has been a music director at Itawamba Christian Church for seven years, is currently the music teacher at Itawamba Tenant Center. She enjoys spending time with her husband, Alex Gaddis, and traveling the world with him. Our second judge for the evening is Clint Reed. A 2003 graduate of ICC, Clint received a Bachelor of Science degree in secondary education at the University of Mississippi in 2006. He has been very active in the arts and was a member of Kaleidoscope and the theater program here at ICC. He is also heavily involved in the Tupelo Theater, Community Theater, and founded the Union County Schools Theater program in 2009. He has been a teacher for the past 15 years and continues to be involved in entertainment in the New Albany community, serve, serving as chairman for the Magnolia Civic Center. He is an active member of Fredonia Baptist Church, where he serves as a deacon and a Sunday school teacher. Clint and his beautiful wife, Brandy, have three children, Polly Beth, John David, and Noah Finley. And now for our third judge of the night, Buzz Busby. Born and raised in South Mississippi, Buzz graduated high school from R.H. Watkins in Laurel. After graduation, Buzz attended Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, where he earned his degree in business administration with a music industry concentration. Concentration. <laughs> he began his music industry career at Warner Brothers Records, where he became director of artists and repertoire. For Warner Brothers, Buzz was lured to MCA Records by hit producer Jimmy Bowen. Buzz eventually became the head of A&R for MCA, working with artists such as Reba McIntyre, George Strait, Teresa Yearwood, and Vince Gill, to name a few. Because of Buzz's stellar reputation, soon Capitol Records came calling and hired Buzz as vice president of A&R, where they launched international superstar Garth Brooks. With over 10 gold and platinum record awards, Buzz decided to step away from the record industry to focus on raising his young family. Buzz and his family moved to Fulton three years ago, and they are enjoying small-town life. Our fourth and final judge is Cherry Busby. Tupelo native Cherry Busby Stone was crowned Miss Mississippi 1989 at the age of 18. After her reign as Miss Mississippi, she returned to the University of Mississippi, where she earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in 1993, after graduation, Cherry studied at Sorbonne University in Paris, France, where she earned a minor in French and discovered a love for cooking. Following her time in Paris, Cherry moved to Nashville, Tennessee to pursue a songwriting career. While in Nashville, Cherry worked as a model, studio singer, host for CMT's Top 20 Countdown, and as a culinary in instructor for Viking Culinary Arts Center. 
Cherry has judged numerous Miss America preliminaries, talent contests, and beauty pageant, and was a judge for Miss Mississippi in 2016. Cherry has been married to her husband, Buzz Stone, for 28 years, and has recently relocated her family from Nashville to Fulton. They have three beautiful children, Isaac, who is 18 and a freshman at ICC, Sarah, a 16-year-old junior, and Jack Busby, who is 13 and in the 8th grade. Please give all of our judges a big round of applause. Now, what we have all been waiting for. Let round one begin, and please welcome to the stage our first act, No Strings Attached. Make sure it works. Guys, you know, that was, that was a bang-up performance. I really appreciated that. Judges, what do, you, what do y'all have to say about this stand-up group of men up here? It's a little uh, off, but it, oh, there we are. There we are. Uh, guys, phenomenal job. Uh, I tell you, I'm always just captivated by individuals that can do something that I cannot, I can barely play chopsticks on a piano. And the fact that you come out of here, multiple different instruments and pull that off the crowd, really, really getting into it. I mean, that's, that's a, a phenomenal job of opening up this show. Great job. Absolutely. I definitely agree with that. I think you could all use a little more confidence. I love the energy you brought onto the stage, so just keeping that up. Um, but y'all sound really great. Good job. Yes, I agree. It was it was great. I loved. Um, I would like to see a little more. And some of y'all were super engaged. Some of y'all. And I know you got to read the music, but it was it was great. I, and my only thing is, I would love to see y'all in sort of like not costume, but something a little more co- cohesive in your outfits. But um, y'all were great. And I loved it. Yeah, um, very entertaining, um, different. Do y'all ever play out anywhere else besides, I mean, do y'all, do y'all have any kind of like gigs y'all play anywhere? Yeah. That's just it? Okay, cool. It was very good, enjoyed it. Watch your intonation, tuning on some of the parts, our little stuff there, but that's, it sounds good.
Hej Betty. <laughs> And another thing that we have been asked to announce is that for you guys to know that they have advanced to the next round, the lights will start going crazy when they get three yeses. So uh, we're about to announce our next person. Please welcome Ben Orr performing Listen Before I Go on the piano. Take me to the rooftops I want to see world when I stop breathing turn blue tell me love is endless don't be so pretentious leave me like you do if you need me wanna see me better hurry cause I'm leaving soon <laughs> sorry can't say Guys, it's not about me. It's about uh, Mr. Ben Orr right here, who just did a... He just killed it on the piano. Judges, what, what do y'all think about Mr. Benjamin here? Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I think that song you could have done in a different key, maybe. I think it would have fit your voice better. Just kind of tweak a little bit, but definitely enjoyed it. 
Yeah, I love your amazing confidence, like amazing. Like you just really watch you when you come onto the stage. I love you playing and singing. I thought it was great. You did awesome, Ben. Just a couple of little things that I would work on is just singing through the words a little bit more. And um, I think if you did an intro before you start singing, that would help you with the pitch coming in on the right note. And give us a big ending. Give us a big chord. Even if you, you're just taking that chord and, you know, note by note, just going up, that would be really nice. Yeah. In, uh, at the beginning of the song, again, I was, I was having just a little bit of trouble. I was like, okay, is, is it going to build? Is it going to build? And then, of course, when you got to those moments and you went for that, of course, the crowd, I mean, you heard their reaction to it, uh, which was really, really good. But, you know, try opening you know, it's it's kind of singing one on one. Open that mouth a little bit more so that we can make those words out. Uh, but overall, great job. You know, I saw the confidence build throughout it. Uh, try to do something a little bit more, you know, upbeat maybe uh, on that. But uh, well, uh, congrats on on moving through to round two. Thank you, Ben. Our next performance is going to be Corey Leonard singing I Beg to Differ. Think that I am tough. I bet to differ. They don't think I can't get rough. I bet to differ. They don't think that I'm enough. I bet to differ. They really think that I'm a bluff. I bet to differ. They don't think that I am tough. I bet to differ. They don't think I can't get rough. I bet to differ. They don't think that I'm enough. I bet to differ. Everybody better make way for this ill spitter. They don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, they really think that I'm a bluff. I beg to differ, they don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this ill spitter. Feel saying not enough, guess what? I'll get them too much. I like shot glass. The way that I be in the cut, you can say that I be cutting up. I'm like taking time, but I saw your map before I blow up. But sorry for his haters, this beast, this face to feast. And I'm here to make the belief, this is it, make belief. I'm the type of rather you should put the heat advising for. Because you can die from my heat. Leave scars to enemies so that they don't forget me. Seize fire at my friends and fire at my enemies. Turn destroyers into beggars that are begging for mercy. I'm like Kip for test, brother. Call me Kip, but I'll I'll burn up I kill now because the boss in my body. Once I think about the parts to do you heart, you gonna wish you had dementia so that you can forget about me. Voice there is that speaking cause PTSD. I got the inner killer instinct to go off on his pizza head is to just fabric that is cut by a guillotine and say what's can hurt. I can make that a reality. Face is tell the crap you get technical difficulties. You don't wanna mess with the friend. This is the rat. Daddy sending beats to the graveyard. This is my cemetery. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, they really think that I'm a bluff. I beg to differ, they don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this ill spitter. They don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, they really think that I'm a buff. I beg to differ, they don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this ill spitter. I can blow you up, and in a way can make you famous. Just know that it won't 
be like how you want it I'm like side book with the cannons And I'll have you a bit of a fake brass So you step up to my place to get eaten And spray the beast you burn in my stomach Gas is started hip hop from scratch Now I create a dent And it all rip people's pride up And I'm stubbing this piece It's like a book out with strap And not collecting these badges When I rap for the people I'm like a student shirt And that's fine for us Like Jordan military I really volunteer to shoot the bus And make it bulletproof It holds in you as the evidence Bitch, I can be out of the cunning Off the beat the being The besides the soul for them Now I go too fast And there was mice in my pocket I call them hot fives Stick up in them I bust taste, taste school Diesel, that's what's called school in them I ride the head all rap Make the say that I'm a Head of them. I'm like a mode jacket, but that's a life I had that deadly venom. I tear destroying the speech. I set fires on it till the haters are probably no solution to my fears. I'm a solicitor to their problems. If someone comes looking for a shovel to bear me, just know I might just kill them. Use my shovel against them. Now, Corey, if I'm not wrong, you produced that song and wrote the lyrics yourself, right? Right. Yes, yes, I did. Judges, um, what do y'all think about that outstanding performance? I said judges, but okay. Corey? Uh, yeah, great job. Corey? Yeah. Hey, oh, uh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Just saying, great job. Really, really cool. Really creative. Uh, really like it. You're on your way, man. Yeah, I love a great timing. Obviously, I loved it, and um, I didn't realize you wrote it until after. I was going to say I didn't know that song at all, but now I'm going to be singing "I Beg to Differ" all night long. <laughs> that was awesome, Corey. Um, the only, I love the song. I love your energy. I love it if you could work the stage a little bit more and get the crowd more involved. I mean, they were with you, but can you bring it up with them? Yeah. Corey, great job. Uh, you know, I saw the confidence build as the crowd started to get more involved. I mean, the crowd obviously loves you. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> but congratulations going on to round two. I beg to differ that it gets any better than that. <laughs> Our next performance is Kristen McCoy singing All I Ask.
Miss McCoy, might I say you uh, you stunted on them with that beautiful voice. <laughs> Judges, um, your thoughts? I've enjoyed it. Um, great tone to your voice and your phrasing's really good. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Really talented. Thank you. Yep. Beautiful voice. I love the song choice. I thought that was great. And I love how, like, you felt so authentic. You know, you didn't do a ton of, like, moves or anything, but it just felt really, really authentic. I loved that. Thank you. You have a beautiful voice. I'm so glad I got to hear you. Um, with this song, it being more of a ballad, I actually think I would have liked to see a little more stationary, just so you can really tell the story of it, and then maybe give a little power move towards the end, instead of going back at the bridge, coming forward, but beautiful singing, beautiful singing. Amazing job. I th I'm always impressed. Those runs are not an easy thing to do. And especially the transitions uh, you made, uh, you know, between those notes was outstanding. Uh, the audience really got involved. Uh, and the emotion, you know, singing is emotion. And you could just, you could see that song all over your face, you know. Uh, just amazing job. It was great. Moving on to round two. Thank you, Kristen. Next, we have Krista Ely singing Natural Woman. Looking out on the morning rain, how you 
to feel so uninspired And when I knew I had to face another day Lord, it made me feel so tired Before the day I met you Life was so unkind hey, You're the key to my Peace of mind, cause you make me feel, you make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman. When my soul was in the lost and found, you came along to claim. I didn't know just what was wrong with me Till your kiss held me claim it Now I'm no longer doubtful Of what I'm living for And if I make you happy I don't need to do Miss Ely, might I add, that song made me feel like a natural woman. <laughs> Judges, what did y'all think about her singing? You know, I, I think there was a little bit of nerves there, uh, you know, there in the beginning. And you have a beautiful tone to your voice. The only thing that was missing were those big, like, you know, in the beginning of, of, the, of the chorus on that natural woman, I, we were expecting kind of that belting you know, to come out. And then the second you started gaining a little bit more confidence and going for it. But I, I think those were in your range. I, I, I just, I don't know why you held back on that because I mean, you clearly have a beautiful voice. Just, you know, it, it may be a little bit more about breathing control and, and stuff, but you, I know you can, you can push those notes out of there. I mean, but overall, I mean, you, you did a great job. You really did. I thought you did great. I think this song is a really good choice for you. Um, I agree. I think more confidence would have helped, but I love the floatiness, all the runs. You definitely made it your own. I think you did a really great job. I love that song. It's a great song choice. Beautiful girl, great confidence. I would like to see a little more, like, um, you look really confident, but, like, selling the song, I guess, is what I'm saying. But it was a great song for you, great performance. Um, I like that song. I think you could have done a different song that would have been better. I think you could have, that would have benefited your voice and everything else. I mean, it's a great song, but you have a great voice. You really do. I just, a different song might have been better. Okay. Thank you, Krista. Now, Sud, how did you say that song made you feel? Like a natural woman. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, we have Room tw 324 performing Jolene. Yeah. 
You know, personally, I'm a, I'm a rather big fan of Dolly Parton, so that song means a lot to me. <laughs> Judges, uh, what'd y'all think of Jolene, Jolene, Jolene? Ladies, I will say, I like the continuity. All, everybody's dressed the same, kind of, you know, coming out there. I know there was a little bit of setup issues. I think there was a little bit of, a, a little bit of timing issue in the beginning. But, you know, as the song, as the song went on, y'all gained confidence. I could, you know, really see it coming through. And I look forward to hearing what you're going to do uh, round two. Absolutely. You guys did awesome. I love the outfits, love the coordinating. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which of you it was, but watch the strumming. One of you was a little behind, but the singing was awesome. And it is it's so hard to sing in front of people, and especially to sing in front of your peers. That's one of the hardest things to do. So sometimes you just kind of have to fake it till you make it and pretend <laughs> that you got it. But y'all were awesome. I can't see what can't wait to see what y'all do next. Yeah, I agree. I love the outfits. I love the cohesive outfit. I love the girl band thing. I thought that was great. And I love Jolene. I thought that was a great song. Just the more y'all practice, everything's going to tighten up. So yeah, I can't wait to hear the next thing. Yeah, you guys got a lot of potential. You just need to, yeah, kind of tighten things up a little bit. And, um, yeah, enjoy it. Great job, ladies. <clears throat> Next up, we have our comedian of the night, Taylin Land. The road get rocky again. I'm back in this thing and I brought me a friend. My sin and thought it could win. I throw up a prayer, it's going with the win. Okay, in the studio, locked in the gym. Verses, they turn into hymns. I got my back, I get bored of the rim. I got my back, so I'm chilling, just like I'm a size. Hey, how are everybody doing today? Y'all doing good? That's good. Um, like, like, it said, like you said, my name is Taylor Land. I'm a sophomore here, and my major is uh, graphics designer. So um, before we get into anything, we're just going to break the ice for a little bit. Um, who all in here has their father in their life? 
Okay, okay, okay. As I can see, half of y'all daddies is not in y'all life, and that's okay. He gonna come back. He gonna be back, though, I promise you. I promise you he gonna be back as soon as they drop them prices on that milk because, because there is no reason for milk to be $4 what, why is milk $4? That is two hugger bugger juice and a, and a hot fry. That's, that's not what we're finna do here. That's not what we're finna do here. Um, I'm finna get counsel for this next joke. Uh, so, about, okay, speaking of the milk joke, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. That is not a white thing. White people ain't finna say nothing about no milk joke. That is straight black people. Cause, and it's okay, you know, I would, I would use it too, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm use the milk, you know, that's the only way I want to get out of this. Um, because when I, when I sit here and I, I think about it, you know, white people are so blunt with what they want to say. They're going to say it to you and they don't mean it in no kind of mean way at all. So just, just think about it. Like they want to leave, they want to go ahead and leave and they sit there, hey, hey, um, Ashley, it's not you, it's me. I don't want to be here with you no more. This is not it. I want to go. Ill, leave me alone. Get out. But a black family, Shaquita, I don't want to. I don't. I, 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 I don't want to date you no more. See, we can't do that because the black lady, she finna pop off straight down. We finna break up. We finna break up. No, we not. We supposed to be together like Bonnie and Clyde. This is not it. We ain't finna do that, baby. Uh-uh, we together. We in it to good. We, get, we do it together. We get it good. We get it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so after all those jokes, I bet y'all wondering why I'm saying this. I'm saying these jokes because we, everybody in this world has been going through stuff like this, and it happens. So why not, you know, make make it a little joke and fun. Um, so the top the topic for today is I love my dad. Um, why did I choose that? I chose I love my dad because my dad has been my hero. Um, when my mom left, he had to he had to do a big role and take care of all three of us, and. Um, as I grew up, <laughs> that's funny, uh, as I grew up, <laughs> as I grew up, I seen, like, what my dad had to struggle, what he had to sacrifice to go through, and I thank him every day. So, Dad, I know you're watching the live stream. I love you. These jokes are dedicated to you. Dedicated to you. Okay. Before I, before I start, I'm going to start off with my ma math joke. Um, my father was a math teacher and oh my gosh my father was my math was my math teacher and it was he was always hard on me son make sure you do that homework because when you get home I better see all them problems filled and I said yes sir okay so get in there make sure that my work was done spotless done well as a 12 year old you know you don't really know like much and then that's when division started coming in and oh boy Division is not for me. We worked on it every day, and I could not get it right. So we, I will always have to end up coming back to coming back home with homework, and it will take three hours, four hours. No, it will take forever to do one problem. So you can tell when your parents get serious, because my dad took off his T-shirt and put on that muscle shirt, and I already knew it's about to go down in here. <laughs> so we sit in there. He said, "Son." Five divided by five. Think about it now. <laughs> what, Dad? Five divided by five. Think about it now, son. What you say? <laughs> five divided by five. Now, you better get it right this time. What? Oh, okay, one. Uh, um, you want me to answer the next one? Uh, six times two. Oh, got it. Three. Oh, you getting it right, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, daddy. Oh, uh, we got to get it right. Come on. There's something you got to do. And right when he did. Right when he did that, I never messed up on division ever again. Cause I could just think about my dad slapping me in the back of the head. I had a boosie face, so you know it was bald back there in that back. So uh, him smacking me in my head really put sense into me, and I was like, boy, you know, so. Uh, I really thank him for that because it came in it came in a bad way, but you know it's it's whatever. Uh, another joke that happened is uh, 
I used to be a fat boy back in the day. So when I saw a Debbie K, I'm going to eat it up. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, so um, my dad, I don't know. I, all I can remember is back in, the, back in the day, Twinkies came out with this red velvet um, Twinkies. And my dad brought them home. And he had three stacks of them. And I saw them. And I was like, ooh, that look good. They red. They look red. You know, this look good. He all gave us one of them. My brothers, they didn't like it. Me? Lord. I feel every bit of that. I start gliding like this. <laughs> that's that's why I felt I felt that. So as he gave us that, it was on my mind every day. I said, I need to get me another one of those Twinkies. I walked upstairs and his room is like right at the door. So I'm trying to come up with a plan how to come downstairs and get a snack. Cause I don't know if y'all know, but in a black family, when he go to bed. Y'all go to bed. So ain't no moving in that house. Or he gonna come out there and get you. So I, was, I started calculating. Like, I was really the dude from home alone. I said, okay, if I jump down the stairs, he can't hear me go down. And if I come across that room and start sliding like this, he ain't gonna hear it. Went downstairs. Boom, made it. Did the slide. Boom, got it. Got the cake. Got it? And ran upstairs. Did not think about how, how, how loud I was going to be. And like I said, y'all, I like Debbie Case. Uh, I'm just going to say it. One became five. I ate five of them that night. And I went down there, and I loved every bit of them. And I enjoyed it. Until that morning, I woke up. My dad said, hey, y'all come downstairs. Uh... Who been eating some more of these red velvet cakes? And I'm looking like this, because I'm like, you know, it ain't me. So I'm trying to fill up in my head that it was not me. You know, if I keep doing this in my head, it's it's, it's not me. My older brother, "Uh uh-uh, daddy. Uh Uh-uh, daddy, I didn't have this. Uh Uh-uh, daddy, I didn't have this. Uh, My twin brother, no, daddy. No, daddy, I ain't had this. He got to me. I said, well, see what happened was... He said, see what happened was, see this butt whooping, see this butt whooping. And he walked out there and I said, uh, okay, so while I'm telling y'all these jokes, these, these jokes has made me who I am today. Um, yes, my father was hard on me, but he created me who I am today, and that's a funny person. So thank y'all for letting me come out here and tell my jokes. Let me tell y'all something about my man Taylor right here. I've known him since the summer of 2022 nice. when we both worked at uh, JD. You remember working in the trenches? Yeah, them shootings fell on me. It was bad. Yeah, no, that wasn't a good time in life. It but he, he has not lost a step. He has only gotten funnier since. I'll be honest with y'all. Y'all give it w- one more time. <laughs> now, the real question is, uh, judges, did y'all think he was funny? Yeah, enjoyed it, man. Really good, really funny, and really natural. <laughs> enjoyed it, really good. Yeah, it was really good. I loved how sometimes you brought it down and it was poignant, where you actually said, you talked about your father and it, it wasn't a funny part. I liked how there was the mix. And um, so, uh, hilarious. Sometimes, make sure you stay on the, every now and then I was like, wait, yeah, I had to strain to understand what you were saying because the mic would move, you know, but, but it was a great job. Thank you. Great job. I love the personal connection to all of your stories and the overlying theme that made it really personal. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought you did a great job. Comedy is not easy. You know, when you sing and you have song, you have music, everything in the background, it's just you coming out of here. Uh, as, you know, because these were real life experiences, you, you don't have to tell us they're jokes. You know, just remember, just go into it. And uh, I saw that confidence start to build as you progressed, you know, in the set. Don't don't be afraid to to just go into something. You know, the great comedians like, I mean, I, I like Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, all that. You know, you you don't know it's a joke. They just go into it. But but great job. Now, certainly, but oh, last but certainly not least, the Hip Tone Jam Band performing Hotel California. 
All right, guys. We are the Hip Tone Jam Band, and we want you to jam with us, too. So if you know this song, hit it. <laughs>
right, y'all join us one time. All right, next time. <laughs> I didn't hear her. I, I personally love that song. Oh, okay, you're not done? Oh. No, nah, but I personally uh, love that song. I think y'all did a fantastic job. Love the band name. Uh, judges, what's y'all's thoughts, opinions, criticisms? I thought y'all did a great job. Uh, again, the song choice, my, you know, something to, uh, there, you know, there were a few times the crowd tried to get into it. I love Hotel California. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Eagles, but maybe for trying to pump a crowd up, you know, just a different song. I'm glad y'all made it through to round two so we can see, you know, what y'all come out with on that. Very good job. The coordination with this band has been incredible. That's, it takes a lot of practice. And to be able to perform that together, I thought y'all did very good. Um, I do agree. I think maybe something with a little more energy for the next round will be good. So excited to see what y'all do next. Yeah, I thought y'all did a great job. I love the confidence when y'all came out here. I love the song. I mean, I know you can't add this to the next round. I'd love to see a drummer, but uh, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very good musicianship. I mean, great playing and singing, enjoyed it. And definitely look forward to seeing what y'all do next. Yeah, a different song. We're now getting ready to head into round two. While our contestants get ready, we'd like to use this time of intermission to make a few announcements. Please welcome our Tupelo Campus SGA president, Lucy Vaughn, to the stage for said announcements. For our first announcement, we would like to recognize this year's Mr. and Ms. ICC, Whit Willis and Annabeth Brown. These students demonstrate integrity and achievement through leadership activities, community, and campus slash college life involvement, as well as academic achievement. They were nominated by our staff and then voted on by the student body. Congratulations for serving as true ambassadors for ICC. Please give these students a round of applause. At this time, Annabeth and Witt are going to share a couple of events happening this spring where we hope to see you all there. Thank you. Hey everybody, I hope y'all have enjoyed this wonderful performances we've had tonight. First off for our events is our spring intramural sports are, are always really fun. And happening soon, we've got intramural disc golf. And for the very first time, we have intramural pickleball. For those of you who don't know, the pickleball courts are out there by the tennis courts, by the old intramural basketball courts. So that's super fun and exciting. We, we can offer those now. So be on the lookout in your emails for that. We will also have intramural flag football happening at the beginning of April. Paint the Tribe will be happening March 19th at 8 p.m. It was rained out last year, so we're really looking forward to it. You'll want to wear bright colors for this one because we plan to have black lights, paint, water, and more. The next big series of events we have is Wellness Week. That will be happening March 25th through the 28th. This week, student activities in the fitness center will partner together for a week of events focused on mental health and physical health. We've got a color dash planned on March 25th. Wellness bags will be passed out on March 26th at the Northeast ba Baseball Game. We'll have a big field day on the 27th, and our talent will have a blood donation truck parked throughout the week for opportunities to donate blood. Blood donors are really needed right now, so we encourage those that can donate to donate. The fitness center will also be having fitness classes throughout the week, so be on the lookout for more things happening this particular week at Get Involved ICC and ICC Fitness Center on Instagram. Indian Week and Exam Cram Week will be April 15th through 25th. You don't want to miss a thing. A few of these events are Silent Disco, Fashion Tribe Fashion Show, a special event to honor our sophomores, Open Mic Night, Free Food, and more. It's our biggest two weeks of the year, so make sure to check the Get Involved Instagram for specific dates and announcements closer to time. 
It's going to be a great semester, and we can't wait to see you at these events. It is now time for round two. Please remember, at the end of this round, you will vote for who you think should be the winner, winner of Indian Scott Talent. Please welcome back to the stage, No Strings Attached, performing Coco.
Uh, they said they love y'all. Any thoughts about that? Um, no hablo inglés. I... <laughs> Once again, great job, guys. Uh, you don't let down this point. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, judges, any closing thoughts on that? Round one to round two, a lot more confidence. It was clear as soon as you started, you were into it. And the buildup, you know, it just steadily kept on getting better. And you, y'all knew exactly how to get this crowd into it, especially right there at the end on that. Great job. Absolutely. The enthusiasm was much greater. The energy was better. Um, and again, doing the song that everyone knew you really rallied the crowd. Great job. Yeah, definitely a great job. I love how I definitely, we saw that we're just maybe two or three were engaged on the first round. Y'all all were engaged this round. I thought that was awesome. Y'all have so much joy and it just really goes over everybody. So I loved it. It was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Probably the most entertaining thing tonight. I mean, that y'all are really great and very talented. Enjoyed it a lot. They love them. They love them. They love them. <laughs> Great job, guys. Next up, we have Ben Orr singing Sound of Silence. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. Because a vision softly creeping Left it seas while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain It still remains within the sound of silence In restless dreams I walk alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to the cold and town When my eyes were still by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touch the sound of silence. And in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe Oops. 
Do you want do you want to say anything else? Banga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as your uh, as your Chickasaw RA, I always uh, love finding new things out about uh, my residents. I didn't know you could do that. That was beautiful. Yeah. From the bottom of my heart, I love that. Uh, judges? Definitely like it and, and cool, cool performance. Jordan. Yep, great job, Ben. I loved hearing the upper uh, register of your voice in that song. That was really pretty. Great job, Ben. Again, like Cherry said, the upper and the lower. And I love that this song had more of a climactic build. Next time, I just want to see more of your face. Yeah, oh, uh, overall, great job. You, you definitely listened, you know, to the critiques from the previous. We could definitely understand that a lot better. Great job. There she is. Banga. Whatever a banga is. Okay. Great job, Ben. Next up, we have Corey Leonard. They don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ. They don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ. They don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ. They really think that I'm a bluff. I beg to differ. They don't think that I am tough. I beg to differ. They don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm a nuts. I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this ill spitter. They don't think that I ain't tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rust. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm a nuts. I beg to differ, they really think that I'm a bluff. I beg to differ, they don't think that I ain't tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rust. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm a nuts. I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this ill spitter. People they think it put me was weak, rappers why I bet to differ. For Naruto breathed out like I am a Uchiha. I slice to beats easy, like I am a Katana. On the hardest thing to hit, this world's is terror, K. Katrina. I creature that you are mess with in Australia. The way I be rapping, you'll need a stretcher when I'm done with ya. I'm defying this like a ruinous aggression era. Pin my enemies support it. Eat them like a box of pizza. Spider Man's hang for a sky. And if you mock me, I'll drop you. And this is the game. That I must be a dangerous player I bet you was creepers when I go past you Just to get you later Make it better to free for your life Like a dark bear I'll strike you like nothing I'll bring it that to you like thunder I look in the mirror and I see a monster with the hunger I'm in his rap game for breakfast, lunch, and dinner I like to let it for you because there's a winner I wish the rap rat they faster than me That doesn't mean that they are better I believe it's standing out like both that's My temperature can make you have sweats up of your bite, I guess I I swear I feel better. Watch those wasted skills to get in my way. Don't get ran over. People think that is the game until it's game over. <laughs> Made by yours truly. The one and only. Big K, yeah. I ain't tough, I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, they really think that I'm a bluff. I beg to differ, they don't think that I ain't tough. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rough. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. 
I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this kill spitter. They don't think that I ain't touched. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rest. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm enough. I beg to differ, they really think that I'm a bluff. I beg to differ, they don't think that I ain't touched. I beg to differ, they don't think I can't get rest. I beg to differ, they don't think that I'm a nest. I beg to differ, everybody better make way for this ill spitter. Big K, your production. One and only. Corey, that was that touched the bottom of my soul. I really appreciated that. You know, that did a lot for me. Judges, what do y'all think about that? Corey, great job. Uh, you definitely took those notes and worked the stage during the entire time. Again, the crowd loves you, man. Awesome job. Yeah, absolutely. You definitely listened to the feedback. You worked the stage. The crowd loves you. You did an amazing job. Definitely. Great job. I loved hearing it again. You were awesome. And can I say this audience is awesome, too. Like, I love how everybody's responding to you. Yeah, it's great job, man. <laughs> great job. Original song. Very cool. Glad you enjoyed it, man. I think that's our call. Come on. Corey, 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 Corey. I love that guy. That's so funny. I can't, that's so good. That was, that was good. I can't collect myself. That was so good. <laughs> Great job, Corey. Next up, we have Kristen McCoy singing I Will Survive. And so you're back from outer space I just walked in to find you here with that sad look up on your face I should have changed that stupid lock I should have made you leave your key If I had known for just one second you'd be back to bother me Go on now, go walk out the door Just turn around now, you're not welcome anymore Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? You know not I, I will survive. As long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live, and I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. Hey, yeah. Pieces of my broken heart And I spent oh so many nights Feeling sorry for myself I used to cry But now I hold my head up high And you see me Somebody new I'm not that chained up little person Still in love with you So you felt like dropping in And just expect me to be free But now I'm saving all my love And for someone who's loving me Go on now, go Walk out the door just turn around now, you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? You'll know not I, I will survive. As long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've 
I've got all my life to live, and I've got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I will survive. Oh, go walk out the door. Just turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me? This goodbye. Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Queen Boss, uh, you absolutely ate that down. Uh, slay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, judges. Great job. Great stage presence. Really good song for your voice. Enjoyed it. Yeah, for sure. Great stage presence. I love that song. It was great for you. Really good. Enjoyed it. As I was listening, I kind of forgot I was supposed to be giving feedback. I was just enjoying it. You did a great performance. Very good job. I think Miss Gloria Gaynor would be very proud, uh, you know, for sure. Yeah, you, you definitely did a, you did a tremendous, like, I saw when you came over here, you did that little turn. They're like, whoa, you know, and then all of a sudden you came over here, and a couple of people were like, I like this, but they couldn't get the rhythm going, you know, kind of on that side. But fantastic job, fantastic job. Y'all give it up one more time for Miss McCoy. I just want to let y'all know that pained me to say that. <laughs> that was my idea. Thank you, Sud. Um, ooh, next we have Krista Ely singing It Is Well. Teach me how to love you Show me how to trust you More than with my words or with a song No, it's not been easy To live life down on my knees But with faith I know I'll carry on there is more to see than with my eyes But fear sometimes can leave me paralyzed Everything I see tells me to let go Yet it is well with my All around me I never knew The fight would Last so long In seasons of Depression I plead for your Protection Make me right I'm tired of Being wrong Every time There's hope seems to die and the voices all around me feed that light everything I see
a wonderful song, Miss Ely. Very beautiful performance. Uh, judges. That was really good, and that should have been the first song you started with. Yeah, that was really good. Thank you. Yeah, I loved that. I loved that song. That was beautiful. Great job. That was a beautiful arrangement. I love hearing the agility of your voice. Really great choice. Krista, that needs to be your go-to song. I'm t any competition you do, I guarantee you, if ICC had offering plates, we'd be taking it up right now. Uh -huh. Awesome job. Hey, 50. Hey, 50. Let me, let me get that. Hey, 50. That was beautiful. Next, we have... Room 324 performing Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy.
said in the back of my truck bed as I was getting buzzed on suds out on some back country road. We were flying high, fine as wine, having ourselves a big and rich time, and I was going just about as far as she'd let me go. But her evaluation of my cowboy reputation had me begging for salvation all night long. So I took her out gigging frogs, introduced her to my old bird dog, sang her every Willie Nelson song I could think of, and we made Well, uh, it's a mantra that is true, but uh, it's not a mantra I live by. Uh, ladies, that was a good, it's a good song. Judges, what do y'all think about that? Uh, you're, the, the overall confidence level was, yeah, way, way higher on that song. Uh, you guys seemed like you, you were working the stage, seemed like you were having a great time up there. Absolutely. That was so much fun. Uh, Y'all guys did a great job. You sound great. And the confidence, like you said, was much better in the energy. Y'all rallied the crowd. I love the dancing, too, the coordinating. That was great. Mm, I love the costume change. I love the energy. Y'all did a great job. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it sounded really good. It sounded like you were having fun. That was beautiful, ladies. Next up, we have our comedian, Taylin Land. Love don't love like that. I can't look like that. I can't look like that. No. Can't look like that. Love don't love like that. I can't look like that. I can't look like that. No. Can't look like that. Lord, oh, Hey y'all, uh, oh, that is loud. Okay, so this is gonna be an audience one. Have y'all ever heard of At The Family Reunion? Yeah. Okay, so with this one, um, what, if you haven't heard of it, what you're gonna do is clap your hands. Hey, the white people got it. This is my friend Hunter, and his last name isn't Lee. But if you try to punch him, he look at you and say, Negro, please, at the very Who we introducing? Here we introducing. Come on. This my friend Preston, and you know he just be ballin'. But if you squeak your eye a little bit, he look like a broke down Morgan Wallen at the family. Who we introducing? Who we introducing? Hey, this my friend Jacob. And he is the real dealer. But if you turn the lights off, he look like a giant gorilla. The family. Here we introduce it. Who we introduce it. This is my friend Dylan, and he know he's God fearing. But if he look in the mirror, I promise you he think he look like Ed Sheeran. Family reunion. Who we introduce it. Who we introduce it. This is Kenna. And you know she be so bold, but if she turn this direction, her head look like a crescent roll at the family reunion. 
who we introduce it, who we introduce it. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? I just want to say thank y'all for promoting me to the round two. I am one of your elite employees. (laughs) That's it. I just, uh, I just want to clarify, uh, I would never, uh, I would never say that. I wouldn't. Come on. I would not. I would not do that. Taylor and I, I loved every second of that. I think you did a great job. Uh, judges. I know it was a wild one. I know it was a wild one. I know you got something to say. I can see it. Well, uh... The confidence was definitely way up on that. I, I love the crowd involvement, getting everybody into it, coming out in the audience. I mean, the energy just stayed at the top during the entire time. Great job. Very funny. Yeah. Great job. I wish you would have started with that little bit you did at the end, said that first, about being promoted. That was really funny. I love that. Somebody said that the first part. I didn't think it it's okay. No, it was funny. I loved it, though. Great. Yes, I enjoyed it so much again, Taylor. Great job. Yes, ma'am. Thank Very you. good. You're a definite natural on stage, man. This, this is your place, man. It's your home. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, last but certainly not least, we have the Hip Tone Jam Band performing. Hey, yeah. Just like that. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. My baby don't dance around because he loves me so, and this I know for sure.
much cooler than being cool. I can't hear you. I said, what's cooler than being cool? All right, 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 all right. Now, ladies, don't help me break this thing down for nothing. I want to see y'all on y'all's baddest behavior. Lend me some sugar. Shake it, shake it. Oh, oh. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Hey, ah. Hey, ah. Hey, ah. Hey, ah. I said, hey, question for you like from the bottom of my heart like I mean this a lot you know deep question uh what's cooler than being cool ice cold thank you I said what's cooler than being cool ice cold all right judges That was, <laughs> no, I, I mean, y'all were definitely, the transition from Hotel California, that is a fun song. I mean, you can't go wrong with Outkast. And you, you guys were having a lot of fun on there. A lot of folks were having fun out in the audience. Good job. Yeah, great job, guys. I love the harmony. Your voices blend together very well, and that's a fun song and a good uh, crowd pleaser. Great job. Yeah, I agree on all the points. Great song. Really, really great energy. Good job. Yeah, enjoyed it. Thanks. Y'all give it up for him one last time. Give me two claps and a Ric Flair. I love y'all. Hey, give me two claps and a Ric Flair. I love y'all. Great job, everybody. Let's give all our contestants one more round of applause. All contestants have performed round one and round two. Those who have received the three lights can now be voted on. It's time for voting. Please get your phones out and scan the QR code to vote. You will have two minutes to cast your vote. The results are in. Your winner of Indians Got Talent 2024 is 
No, no strings, strings attached. attached.